Our earth was formed around 4.5 billion years ago when its gravity pulled large amounts of swirling dust and gas to grow into a huge mass of about 6,400 km radius to become the third planet from the sun. Its hospitable temperature allowed it to be covered mostly with liquid water, which provided an ideal ambience for life to begin about 3.8 billion years ago. Humans appeared on Earth relatively recently, about 3,15,000 years ago, and developed a capacity for language only about 50,000 years back. Since then, the twinkling of stars and the hazy patch of our Milky Way galaxy visible in a dark night sky filled them with wonder and awe. With the evolution of civilization, this sense of wonder turned into exploration, limited by man's capacity to see and observe. In ancient India, astronomy developed as one of the auxiliary disciplines associated with the study of the Vedas. And the oldest known text is the Vedanga Jyotisha, dated between 1400 to 1200 BCE. Later in the year 1610, Galileo designed his own telescope that could magnify objects 30 times and he used it to discover craters on the moon and the phases of Venus among a number of other things. Moon caught significant human attention being the nearest heavenly neighbor of the earth. On July 16, 1969, Neil Armstrong, along with his two friends, Edwin Aldrin and Michael Collins, went to the makeup room for getting dressed up for their moon flight. Now, they were ready to climb up the mighty Saturn V rocket for the Apollo 11 mission to the moon. Saturn V rocket was 111 meters tall about the height of a 32-story building and weighed more than 3,000 tons, which is nearly the weight of about 600 elephants. The rocket generated an incredible 34 and a half million newtons of thrust at launch. It took them three days, three hours and 49 minutes to cover a distance of three lakh 76,400 kilometers up to the moon with an average speed of about 5,400 kilometers per hour. On July 20, 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first person to step onto the moon's surface followed by Edwin Aldrin 19 minutes later. They spent about 2 hours and 15 minutes walking on the moon's surface and collected 21 and a half kilograms of lunar rocks and materials for bringing back to the Earth. Armstrong and Aldrin spent a total of 21 hours and 36 minutes on the Moon's surface that included 7 hours of sleep. Apollo 11 was followed by 6 more Moon missions. Commander Eugene Cernas and Lunar Module Pilot Harrison Schmidt became the last men to land on Moon on December 11, 1972. They drove 30 kilometers on the Moon's surface on a lunar rover and spent 75 hours on the Moon before lifting off the Moon's surface. They were fortunate to witness the rare sight of the Earth rising in the sky of the Moon. In the meantime, the mode of space travel was changing. On April 12, 1981, 
the first space shuttle named Columbia took off and became the harbinger of an era of reusable spacecrafts, those which could be launched with the help of rockets and could return to Earth like gliders, landing like airplanes on a long concrete runway. The Space Shuttle program had a huge contribution to space research. It carried men and material for building the International Space Station, which remains in orbit even today and is visited by astronauts from all over the world to carry out scientific experiments. On April 24, 1990, Space Shuttle Discovery launched the famous Hubble Space Telescope, which is regularly sending us valuable data. Space Shuttle program flew 135 missions and carried a total of 355 astronauts from 16 different countries in multiple trips. The last shuttle to fly was Atlantis in July 2011. The space shuttle suffered two major disasters. The first on January 28, 1986, when the shuttle Challenger exploded 73 seconds after liftoff, killing all its seven crew. That included Krista McAuliffe, a teacher from New Hampshire. The second disaster happened on February 1, 2003, when the shuttle Columbia broke apart while re-entering the Earth's atmosphere, killing all seven crew members, including Kalpana Chawla, the Karnal-born Indian-American astronaut. It was her second space flight after she logged a total of 30 days, 14 hours and 54 minutes in space. The greatest advantage of a space shuttle is that it can be reused and returned to Earth and land like an airplane. Life in space is not easy. Astronauts have to live in zero gravity situation. Let us have a glimpse of how life is in the International Space Station. A bed? Um, not really, because it doesn't matter. You don't really have the sensation of lying down. You just sit in your sleeping bag. So here's one sleep station right here. I'm going in right now. You can follow me if you want. So I'm inside. It's sort of like a little phone booth, um, but it's pretty comfy. I've got a sleeping bag right here that we sleep in so we don't have a, sort of like a little bit of a cover. We don't walls here, all sorts of stuff that we do. Um, and one of the things we also do is we exercise. We have some exercise equipment on board the space station. Um, we need to do that because we lose bone density and muscle mass while we're up here. And that's a result of not having to fight against gravity. So how we keep ourselves in shape are with a bike, a treadmill, and a weightlifting machine. This is the bike. You notice the clip pedals. So all you need to do is actually clip your feet in and then you can start pedaling. And that's just by surface tension. And then you can drink it. So a lot of people ask about what do you do with the toothpaste after you brush your teeth. Two options. Swallow it, and it's sort of like mouthwash. But it tastes a little gross. Or you can just spit it out in a paper towel, and then you don't have to worry about it. Swallowing thing I wouldn't recommend at home. I'm only up here for four months, so it's not that bad. <laughs> One of the most pressing questions about using, being, living in space, of course, is the bathroom. So let's take a look at that. Now India is also a front runner in the domain of space exploration. Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, was formed on 15th August 1969 and since then it has achieved many remarkable feats. On 15th February 2017, ISRO deployed 104 satellites in space on a single launch by PSLV-C-37 rocket.
ISRO had launched its first moon mission, Chandrayaan-1, in 2008, followed by Chandrayaan-2, which attempted an unsuccessful landing on moon's surface on 6th September 2019. Now Chandrayaan-3 is ready for launch. ISRO launched its first Mars mission, Mangalyaan, on 5th November 2013. After traveling for 298 days, Mangalyaan was put on Mars orbit on 24th September 2014 and India became the first nation in the world to achieve this feat on its maiden attempt. Aaj Mangal ko mom mil gayi. जब काम मंगल होता है इरादे मंगल होते हैं तो मंगल की यात्रा भी तो मंगल होती है इंडिया हैज सक्सेसफुली रिच मार्स आप सबको बधाई देशवासियों को बधाई